Hello folks, this is Remington H. I just received my MFJ, and that's the model 891 cross needle watt meter. So I'm just gonna do a real quick unboxing, and I'm gonna get it hooked up, and we'll see how it works and test its accuracy, especially as a watt meter, which is what I'm mostly purchasing it for. Okay, I just opened the uh, lid here and see what we have inside. The MFJ SWR watt meter. It's like a little manual. A little hard to do with one hand there, but a nice big screen, which I was very much interested in. Uh, it has some features that I'll talk about while I'm actually doing the testing. It also uh, comes with a, it's like a power cable connected to your power source, probably to illuminate the display. That may actually operate the active uh, SWR coupler or whatever they call it. I'll talk more about that though in a second. Okay, YouTube, I have the MFJ891 hooked up with my uh, Kenwood Hybrid TS530 uh, in line with the uh, MFJ929. This is the meter. The backlighting, the LED backlight's really um, even. Uh, it looks really nice. Nice big screen. This is the uh, power switch here. We have 20, 200, and 2000 watt ranges and average power or peak envelope power so my main concern is how accurate is it as a watt meter because that's primarily what I'm going to use it for I have this as well um, for the SWR SWR meter as well as a ante antenna tuner I am not real confident in its accuracy so I wanted to get something to augment it uh, help tune up my hybrid rig and uh, just hopefully monitor its performance. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the video, tune my radio up, and then we'll get back and see how it, how it works. Okay, so I've tuned up my hybrid. I've uh, tuned up the final amplifier. So I'm going to go ahead and put it first in tune mode here. Now every other watt meter I have indicates that this puts out about 15 watts in tune mode. So I'll go ahead and flip it up here. Let's look at that. 15 watts. I calibrated this with the Radio Shack uh, SWR meter that I generally feel is pretty accurate. A Diamond Antennas SX200, which I had done a previous video on, also showed it does 15 watts. According to the MFJ891, we're looking at the uh, top number there. It's in 200 watt mode, so so the 100 figure or the 1,000 figure here is 100 watts, 200 watts. Let's go ahead and flip it on. Yeah, about 15 watts there, 16 watts. So that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and flip it to CW and give it a quick uh, burst of power. Make sure it's in average mode. According to this, 102 watts, give or take. Sometimes it shows 110, sometimes it shows 102. I don't really know why it varies like that. It's supposed to be 100 watts, obviously. Let's see what the MFJ says. Again, 1,000 on the black meter is uh, 100 watts. Okay, it says 125 watts. I'll do that one more time here with this up close so you can see. 1,000, yeah, one, about 125. Now, interestingly, that's what the SX200 from Diamond Antennas also said that this was putting out. I guess I might have to consider recalibrating this. Uh, two meters now show almost about the same amount of power uh, in CW, 125 watts. That's almost almost exactly what the SX200 was telling me I was putting out in CW. That seems high to me. Um, I guess it is possible that this radio could be putting out that much power. I, it's not unheard of. Um, I have had it opened. I have worked on it, cleaned some contacts, and. I didn't see any obvious uh, modifications done internally. 
So I'm not really sure what to make of that. Let's go ahead and put it into this true active PEP, peak envelope power mode, and test it on sideband. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, not that it matters, I'm on a dummy load of course, but I'll go ahead and put it to lower sideband. Again, 1000 1, on the black dial there is uh, 100 watts. Testing. This is Remington H putting out a YouTube video. Remington H, Remington H. This is a test, this is a test, this is a test. And that's almost exactly what the SX200 also was telling me, uh, about 110 watts SSB and PEP mode. Um, this true active peak envelope power mode seems to be, seems to really doesn't do a nice job of holding the needle. Um, I don't have to, I can't whistle, but I don't have to speak very hard. It seems to, even with normal voice, show a proper, almost proper, uh, looks like it's a little bit of an overswing there. Ta ta yeah. Testing, testing, testing. Ta okay. Okay, YouTube, that's the uh, MFJ891. Um, as far as the... Uh, fit and finish and uh, overall appearance of the meter. Uh, I do like the look. Uh, the meter is mostly metal, metal, metal. It's plastic, but looks really nice. I think the, the, the dial looks fantastic. Nice and bright. Backlighting. Pretty simple on the back. That's what it looks like. I hope this was helpful. I do like it better than the SX200 so far, and I'm sure you'll see more of it in additional videos. Thank you for watching. 7-3.